I'd like to talk about preeclampsia. Now, preeclampsia is sort of this weird disease that happens usually towards the end of pregnancy. It's fairly uncommon, but it does happen. It's not completely rare. It's most common for first pregnancies, although it can happen with any pregnancy. It's also considered to be most common at the extremes of age. So in other words, somebody who's very young, like a teenager, or someone who's older, say in their 40s, is more likely to develop this problem. So what is preeclampsia? Preeclampsia is sort of a combination of high blood pressure, swelling, and protein in the urine. That's sort of the classic triad, the classic three signs of preeclampsia. It's called preeclampsia because untreated it can lead to eclampsia, which is basically um, those three things plus seizures, uh, and that can be very dangerous and very frightening. And so we tend to treat preeclampsia very aggressively. The only cure for preeclampsia is delivery, but the good news is delivery does cure preeclampsia, although it often takes a couple of days, at least 24 hours, for everything to clear out uh, and go back to normal. Preeclampsia can be mild or it can be severe. Mild preeclampsia is not so scary um, because it tends not to be such a big problem and fairly easy to take care of. Severe preeclampsia can be a lot more dangerous and if untreated can lead to seizures, what we call eclampsia, um, but it can also lead to other bad things. Uh, it can lead to a stroke um, or problems with the liver. There's a particular syndrome called HELP syndrome, um, which is um, hemolysis, um, uh, elevated liver enzymes and low platelets. And that's sort of a, an end stage of preeclampsia. It's an advanced preeclampsia where people get extremely sick and that can be very dangerous. If you have preeclampsia and it's mild, delivery might be one option depending on how far along you are. If you're still fairly early, bed rest can often treat it and you get this sort of honeymoon period where people will get better for some amount of time um, before they get worse. And so that will buy some time if you're early to help get the baby developed more quickly. Steroids can be given if you're very early to help get the baby's uh, lungs developed. Uh, the other treatment that's used um, for preeclampsia is a medicine called magnesium sulfate. And magnesium sulfate doesn't lower your blood pressure per se, but it keeps you from having a seizure, keeps you from developing eclampsia. That medicine needs to be monitored very closely. It's only given in the hospital and we tend to um, keep you in bed when you have that medicine and put a catheter in your bladder for the most part to track your urine output very closely. Uh, magnesium sulfate has a lot of side effects. It makes you feel pretty bad, but it's very important for you to be on it. Um, and we'll be following blood levels because the difference between the therapeutic dose, in other words, the dose that treats you, and the toxic dose is very close. So it's a sort of a balancing act to get you at just the right dosage, and we'll need to follow that with blood levels. The other thing that can happen with preeclampsia is it can affect your kidneys and can decrease uh, your kidneys' ability to make urine and therefore toxins can build up in your body and get you very sick. And that's one of the reasons that we monitor urine output. The other thing is that the magnesium sulfate is cleared through the kidneys. So if the kidneys stop working, the magnesium can start building up and you can get dangerously high levels. So those are things that we'll be watching for. We'll also be keeping an eye on your reflexes because if your reflexes get too brisk, that could be a sign that you're getting close to the seizure range. So these are all things that we do with preeclampsia. Ultimately with preeclampsia, delivery will fix the problem and it usually takes about 24 hours for that to clear and we'll be monitoring you during those 24 hours fairly closely. Once it's gone, it's gone and generally you're okay. Now sometimes the high blood pressure will linger on longer than that and that may need to be treated separately. But the really dangerous issues with preeclampsia go away fairly quickly after delivery. So things to watch for. If you get a really bad headache that's not being treated with, that's not going away with Tylenol in the third trimester of pregnancy. If you start seeing these weird flashes of light, or if you get this bad pain in your upper right quadrant, those are all warning signs and can mean that you've got preeclampsia or that it's worsening. Edema, which is swelling of the legs or the body, can also be a sign of preeclampsia. However, it's very common to have swelling in the third trimester of pregnancy without preeclampsia. So there's sort of non-dangerous swelling and dangerous swelling. One of the reasons that we check your urine every time you come to the office and your blood pressure is to make sure that you're not developing preeclampsia. So something that your doctor is going to be watching very closely. So preeclampsia is scary, um, but it is treated. Uh, it is treatable and ultimately delivery will fix the problem so it won't be a problem after you deliver. MedTwice.com